Welcome to TV TV Sport and we're at Newt Cuthbury again for Wimbledon Town against Westbury United in the Southern League Division 1 South. Are you looking to start your child on their footballing journey and live within the Bournemouth pool and surrounding areas? Fundamental Football Dorset puts the fun into football for toddlers through to many soccer age. With classes and football teams on weekend mornings and midweek evenings, get in touch to find out more. If you find yourself liking this channel, please subscribe, hit the bell and you'll know when I've uploaded something new. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So let's have a little look at the table before the start of play. we got our host Wimborne in third. Today's visitors are very well placed in the middle of the table. Both teams come into today on really decent form, so we're hoping for a cracker. I think we should look at today's lineups. What do you reckon, Ben? Today marks the debut of Wimbledon's new electronic scoreboard. Here's the guy responsible for getting it up there. With the subsport going through its own warm-up routine, today's officials are Martin Bloor, Alex Rushfear and Lewis Wall. But we start today's affair by paying our respects to Brian Lee McIntyre. So let's get cracking with these highlights brought to you by TVTV. The first opportunity came in the first minute, courtesy of Oakley Hanger. Eleven minutes in, and Jez Bedford gambles on a long ball. One minute later, and it's time for a showboat. Although the majority of the early pressure was coming from the Magpies, today's visitors certainly weren't sitting back. An early substitution meant Tank got to play with his new toy. Outstanding work. After receiving this sage advice from his managers, Charlie Walton had a pop. Every now and then you might hear a little bang and see the camera shake like this. Never fear, I haven't fallen out of the filming tower, it's just Tank getting a little bit frustrated. And he also likes a bit of a sing song. <laughs> That was in response to the linesman being substituted for Richard Barton. Take a bow, son. <laughs> 
Westbury had started the second half really well, but could they capitalise? <laughs> by hook or by crook, the ball finds itself in the net and Westbury are 1-0 up. Ryan Bowl gets the credit. Just a couple of minutes later, they nearly made it too. Shortly after that, something caught my eye and reminded me of this. The Magpies had taken five minutes to recover from going behind, and on 52 minutes, Ashley Wells fancied a pole driver. From that corner, Wimbledon up the ante again. A smart back heel from Lewis Bill finds Harry Morgan just inside the area and he curls into the far post to make it 1-1. Literally straight from kickoff, Westbury were down the other end. And all of a sudden, we seem to be in a basketball game with a game flowing from end to end. After surviving three chances in as many minutes in their own end, Westbury had the respite of a free kick. A bit like their first goal, this free kick went through absolutely everybody and nestled into the back of the net, giving the visitors a 2-1 lead. Once again, the host took five minutes to compose themselves before unleashing a few more attempts at goal. With 15 from the end, and the heavens absolutely opened. Try as they might, the Magpies just couldn't fashion a shooting opportunity that close to goal. Maybe they should try from further out. What do you reckon, Dan? Dan Bartlett does it again and unleashes one from his locker from about 40 yards. Absolutely incredible.
I think I mentioned something a little bit earlier about a basketball game, did I not? Well, just two minutes after Bartlett's Thunder Bastard, this happened. Yet another set piece undoes the Magpies defence and Ryan Bowe is the man on the spot to notch his hat-trick and put his team 3-2 up. Game over, you might think. <laughs> nah, don't be silly. As is becoming customary, an absolute peach of a free kick from Oakley Hanger finds Ashley Wells unmarked in the middle of the box and he powers his header home past Hill from six yards. As we entered the last minute of the 90, the visitors required some defensive heroics from first Hutchins and then Cockrell to keep the score level. As we entered the third of four added minutes, the Magpies had a bit of a penalty shout. There was nothing in that. But what transpired a few seconds later is bound to provoke a bit of, shall we say, discussion. <laughs> Walton breaks in the middle of the park and Wells brings him down. Now, I've given up trying to keep track of the laws of the game, but I've seen this plenty of times before and I was fully expecting a yellow. But let me know what you think in the comments. All we do know is that referee Bloor saw enough in that challenge to warrant a straight red. Literally seconds after the red card, the referee blows up for full time. An entertaining second half draws to a close and the spoils are shared. Let's have a look what it does to the table. Wimbledon Town remain in third, Westbury move up to ninth. Next up from me is the visit of Froome Town to New Cuffbury. That's on Tuesday, so you'll get the highlights sometime later in the week. In the meantime, stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.